I don't usually go out this late at night To the place where the animals go But baby, I'm here and I'm watching you move There's just one thing you should know Girl, you are my fire I'll meet you Welcome back to the channel. Today's video is on green wet hay. Doesn't sound like it's that important. And when I heard people talking about it when I first started farming, I didn't understand what the implications of wet hay in a barn could be. And uh, I want to show you because we have some wet hay and uh, I've made Nate set aside a special bale so that we can do a scientific laser test and um, see just how hot this bale is. It breaks down like this. So yesterday we had hay on the ground in five fields and we had uh, thunder showers predicted for a certain period of time. And so we decided to go ahead and turn over the hay. Four out of the five, bale, uh, four out of the five fields were dry, were pretty dry. The fifth field was on the wet side. And so uh, these are some of the hay bales from those first four fields and there's about 25 bales from the fifth field and we have broken most of those up so here is the hay that we uh, raked and baled yesterday Nate, how many bales is this would you say about 25 bales of second cut hay um, it's made up of clover, morning glories, um, probably a little timothy, a lot of witch grass, um, a little tiny bit of everything all scattered in. And uh, the reason it's broken apart is because we needed to get it um, airing out. Nate came and checked the bales because we were aware that they were on the green and wet side. And um, one of them... I'm going to say the first thing that I noticed was that these bales smelled different than very, very dry hay. And um, Nate, we always check our, our, our bales with our hands, and you can feel the heat when they are um, too wet. And there was one, it was right over here, I think, that was uh, extremely warm. And so that was what we decided, that was when we decided to go ahead and open all those bales just to be on the safe side. And so this morning we fluffed all this hay out, we separated all the uh, flakes of hay, made them not look like bales anymore, and now it's just, this is just acting like a big hay mow and holding a bunch of loose hay. What we're going to do is feed this hay out to our animals first, because we do feed hay to the animals in the summertime, even though they can eat the grass, but on rainy days and um, sometimes if someone's not feeling well and they don't want to leave the barn, we'll give them hay uh, just to kind of supplement what they're eating. So I had no idea that hay could spontaneously combust in any way and um, last year was the first time that I had uh, actually felt it and uh, became aware of what a huge problem it was. First, let's go ahead and we'll take a temperature. I brought the laser thermometer out and today in New Hampshire where we are, it's been kind of between like 79 and 82 degrees and uh so let's just take a few you know uh, temperature readings here so this sheet metal is 90 no 82.4 degrees okay and so okay the cement is 80 fluctuating between 84 and 84.5 84.9 84.9 okay um let's do the surface first. Let's do the surface, yeah. So the surface of this hay bale, why don't you go ahead and come right in tight, is um, 89 degrees. These were the, the dry ones from the first four bales, and so uh, they weren't quite hot enough to open up and destroy, and so we have just set them outside to let them continue to dry. And um, But the one that we were really concerned about was this one right here. Now, let's go ahead and take a, a couple of outside temperatures of this bale. So, 
87. Is that a scratch on that or is it actual stuff? No, it's stuff. Okay. All right. So it's 88 degrees right out here. I don't know. I'm going to bust it right open right here. Yeah. Let's see if let's, is it? Okay. All right. And all right. So get me a hot spot. And right now, I oh can't see it. It's 93.2 degrees in here. That was about the center of it. Hold on, I gotta get, I can't see. That one's 88. Alright, so it's already cooling down. It's already cooling down now, uh, but you can see that it was up over 90 degrees inside this bale when everything else in the ambient temperature around here was only, um, you know, like 80, 85 degrees or so, 81 degrees, 82 degrees. So, so this is significantly warmer and it would have gotten warmer and warmer and warmer until it reached uh, 130 degrees which is when the gases that are created inside this bale of hay by the wet decomposing hay uh, ignite at and actually spontaneously combust. So Nate coming out and uh, sticking his hand in all these bales was really quite a, a good thing. Because I'm telling you, that one that we, that one that we saw was, was really really hot but uh we're aware of the of it and uh we've taken some proactive moves to make sure that to make sure that all of those hay bales are busted right out and the other ones are outside so the, the, the barn's not going to burn down not today so these aren't your hay bales turkey as always thanks for watching guys i want to welcome any new subscribers to the channel Get to know us and uh, go ahead and browse our videos. We'd love having you here. So if you have any comments or suggestions on a video that we should maybe do, go ahead and put it in the comment section for me and we would be happy to oblige. Uh, thanks so much for watching and peace out.